Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my son's one month postpartum update. Um, he's got the hiccups right now <laughs> and he's a little fussy. He also has a cold, so we'll try and get through this. Um, hi baby! My other son is knocking on the door. He wants to come in. Um, so, this is our one month postpartum update and this month, um, you know, it's only been a month so there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, no rolling or crawling or sitting or anything like that. But um, I will start with his weight. He had his one month doctor's appointment where he got his um, vaccination for when I forget, oh gosh, I forget which vaccine it was. Was it the second hepatitis, I think? Um, but he got that, and he didn't even cry when he got it. He cried after she pulled the needle out, so a little tough boy. Um, but at his appointment, he weighed uh, 9 pounds, 10 ounces, so he's almost 10 pounds. And today, we were noticing, oh gosh, his newborn clothes. We're feeling mighty snug, so I think we need to up him into his next size of clothing. But he's like in the in-between size. He fits perfectly in zero to three months, which is what he's in now. But the three-month clothes are a little bit big on him, so um, we're just going to have to wear baggy clothes, and that's just how it's going to have to be. But that's okay. So um, he weighed almost 10 pounds. We're also in size one diapers now. The newborn size were fitting a little bit too snug and I felt like it was hurting his thighs. Um, it's just too tight. So he's in his one month size and I will say we are loving the Pampers right now. Um, ideally we wouldn't be buying Pampers because they are the most expensive brand of diapers but um, we have been given Pampers as gifts so we've been using them. Um, my go-to are loves. So I love them. They're awesome. but. These Pampers have been working really well. With my first son, he peed through Pampers like nobody's business. For whatever reason, it was just not holding in what was supposed to be held in. But with him, they work great. It has that mesh lining that just kind of traps like the poop and everything in there. So it kind of absorbs it and it doesn't get as messy all over his bum. Um, so I'm really loving those, and they're really soft, which I like. Um, so we are in the size one pampers. Next is his sleep schedule. Um, he has about three long snoozes he does throughout the day, and then he kind of has a hey, witching period. I've heard some people call it that, where Basically, any time from 4 to a little after 7, sometimes the whole time, sometimes only like an hour of the time, um, he just cries. He cries and cries and cries. And the only relief is me holding him against my chest, maybe standing and bouncing him, sometimes just patting his back. Um, sometimes walking around what has really helped is the fan um, above our stove that seems to calm him down um, shushing in his ear seems to calm him down but he really has long stretches of being very fussy and upset so that happens about once a day um, he also has a very hard time going back to sleep after his 6 a.m. feed so that is not fun if I'm the one that has to get up with him because that makes me very tired. But during the nights, he usually goes to sleep around seven, between 7 and 8. And he'll have his last feed before bed. And then he'll wake up at that point every 3 hours to eat. So he's roughly getting up around 2 times a night. And then once in the morning when he then stays awake the whole time. So... Um, he's slowly starting to put himself on the schedule, um, and we have not really initiated the schedule yet, but pretty soon I'm going to need to do that, um, where I do a bedtime routine with him and all of that. It's just hard, I'm finding it hard to figure out how to combine, 
his routine with Ranger's night routine um, because I do have two under two, so that makes it a little bit more challenging. Ranger needs a lot of me um, and isn't able to like get his own jammies on and all of that. So he still needs quite a bit of help, um, so it's hard for me to do everything at the same time by myself. Luckily, I've had the help of my husband, but when he goes back to work in a few days, I'm not going to have him because some of his shifts... He works until 11 o'clock at night, so it's just definitely not going to work. Um, but we're going to figure it out and we'll get through it. He is nursing like a pro. Like I said, he nurses about every two hours during the day and then every three hours at night. Um, and his feedings have increasingly become shorter and shorter. So he eats for about 7 to 10 minutes a time and then is done. And at first I was really worried about that, but... The fact that he's been gaining so much weight so quickly obviously shows that he's just become really efficient at sucking and eating and so he's just able to get all the food he needs in a quicker amount of time. So that's a really good thing because I need to be able to not have him attached to me for 30 minutes at a time because of my other son. So that's a very good thing. The neck has gotten a lot stronger. He really enjoys tummy time on his boppy. And on his boppy, there's a tag and it says not to put him on his tummy until he is four months old. But I monitor him really closely and I make sure that he's okay. He likes to kind of be on his knees when he does that. And then that also calms him down too. Um, so we do a lot of tummy time. And then for the fact that he like has to be attached to my chest for half the day, uh, he has a lot of tummy time in that way as well. So his neck is getting very strong very fast. Another thing that happened this month is he got his very first cold. And it is so sad. It breaks my heart. You can hear him super congested while he's trying to breathe at night. So he's having a hard time breathing. So he's not sleeping good at the moment. Um, so we've been using our suctioner quite a bit in the last two days, but maybe this means that he is going to have a very strong immune system very fast because he is beating his colds and building up his immunity. But other than that, other than growing, gaining weight, eating, his sleep schedule, his cold, um, his diaper change of size, and his clothing... Those are all, of, honestly, all of the updates for one for his one month postpartum update. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see some of my upcoming videos. And I'm really excited to post in the next week. Um, and that is all. So, have a really great day, a great week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.